Well, Legit Nation, it seems as if the time has finally come. So what I need everybody to do is get in the car, because we're going shopping at Gucci. It's time for back to school season, and y'all need to be the freshest kids on campus. So I don't want y'all to worry about having any style or any creativeness to your outfits. Just go wear Gucci and the girls will flock to you. You'll make it on the football team and you'll get all A's for the entire school year. Let's go to Gucci because we're going shopping. Now realistically, both me and you know that this is probably something that will never most likely happen unless you're like Donald Trump's son or one of the richest people out there in America. Now to be fair with you, when I was younger, my mom only gave me a hundred bucks to buy shoes and clothing for the entire school year. We might have got lucky and got some new school clothes around Christmas time, but for the most part, if we didn't buy it in the first of the school year and we needed some new clothes, my mom would take us to Goodwill or the thrift store to get some new pants. So, to be fair with you guys, to set the scene, before we start this video, I never was able to shop at Gucci. It wasn't even a thought in my mind. My mom would have like probably slapped me silly for telling her, let's go to Gucci for school. But for those of you rich kids out there, I decided to make a video. And because I think it would be really cool to see what would happen if you actually shopped at Gucci for back to school. So, I'm gonna go grab my laptop and let's get right into the video. All right, and we are recording. We were screen recording right now, so something's gonna pop up somewhere. But without further ado, let's go ahead and go to Gucci.com because they will not let me record in a Gucci store if I try to do a back to school shopping video at a Gucci store, I'll get kicked out. So first, as we can see, some very elegante girls. Uh, but we're looking in the men's clothing today. Sorry ladies to disappoint you, but this is a streetwear channel for men's. And if you're a streetwear enthusiast as a female, you can enjoy it too. Please, just girls, please watch my videos because I need a bigger female audience. So I'll do girls the next time if you guys want. But anyways, we're on the men's section right here, the fall winter 2018 men's. And this right here, right off the bat, is the most hideous looking man that I have ever seen. Not because of his face or because of how he looks, but because of what he is, what, 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 what even is that? That looks like something that my mom would get. That's something that I would see at a thrift store when I needed new school clothes and my mom would say, let's go to Goodwill. Like, I'm pretty sure you could find clothes exactly like that at Goodwill. But Gucci selling it now. Nice job, Gucci. First of all, let's go ahead and go through the bags because I want to see what a backpack from Gucci would look like if you were to walk into Gucci with a bag. Yeah, these all look very feminine. Uh, the yellow one's kind of tight, I guess. Um, it kind of looks like the Sean Wather spoon, uh, but it, it's a thousand two hundred. Yep, I've officially gone crazy. Let's see what else we got. So I see Gucci has a new uh, style that they're coming out. It's 80s. I think they went from like, wh what style were they doing before? I think it was, it. What, babe, was it 80s or was it 90s? I think they're still sticking with the 80s theme, but they got a couple of new items. So for a little miniature backpack that kind of looks like you got a little lunchbox on your back, it's gonna be 1450. Okay. Uh, that one is probably one that I would pick because it is loud, it's gold, and it is fresh. This one is $3,490, so basically uh, what some people would make in an entire year if you're working a job in high school or a whole car if, it, if you want your first car. That, that's basically what this backpack is worth right here. So it, it's a black and gold Gucci. Now don't get me wrong, if you can get it, then you got it and you can get it, then I think that this is super fresh. I think it's super dope and I would love the opportunity to go to school with a Gucci bag, even a bag that says Gucci and it's spelled wrong. Like, how dope is that? Like, like the kids are going to say, hey, did you know your backpack is spelled wrong? And you're going to say, yeah, I know. It's a style. Uh, so, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not making fun of it, I'm just kind of there to help out those who can't afford it like me, you know what I mean? But we're just kind of, we're browsing through this together, guys. So let's continue to see what they got. Now, we gotta check out the shoes, bro. And I, I, I don't really care about any of the other shoes, just the Gucci sneakers. So let's see what Gucci... Oh no. Oh no, Gucci, you've gotten super ugly now. Those are like a mix of like some ugly bottom of like an ugly Nike with like an ugly boot that is like low top. Oh gosh, and did they put jewels on this one? Is it bedazzled? You've gotta be kidding me, Gucci. Oh, oh. I mean, who are we kidding though? They're not gonna be cool until Kanye wears them. When Kanye busts them out, everybody and their mom's gonna be one of them, but they got this. 
They got this new print. And what it really reminds me of, guys, is I know you're too young to remember this, but you guys know Sonic the Hedgehog if you have ever played that game or if you ever went into an old school arcade. This is kind of what, like what the Sega, the company that made Sonic, this is kind of what the logo looks like. And they put it on a Gucci shoe. It looks kind of fresh. Now, for a while, it, it took me a while to get used to this type of shoe just because it's like a dad type of shoe. Um... <laughs> Now, I think the dad shoe is kind of coming along just a little bit. It's a little bit better than it used to be. But, dirty sneakers for $740. Yeah, dirty Gucci sneakers for $740. I think I'll pass. We got a couple of Gucci shoes in here. I think by far though, uh, the, the dad shoes are probably the coolest. And then the low top with just like that B, I think those are gonna probably be the freshest. Um, now, speaking in a realistic term here, guys, as far as Gucci, if you are gonna wear Gucci shoes and a Gucci backpack, buyer beware that unless you go to a rich school where they have security and where none of the kids even think about telling a lie, do not rock this to school because they will rob you for everything you got and one of the kids will make up a story saying oh i got it from my tío and and i found it under you know my tío bought it for me for christmas but he really found it in the bathroom because you left your backpack in the bathroom and yeah i got my ipod touch stolen that way so i know but ace embroidered sneakers right here this is a dope sneaker and i, I feel like if you got it fam if you got it and i'm probably speaking to some older cats out there because if you are able to buy Gucci, you're probably older, you probably got a job, and you probably got some sufficient income coming in. Uh, I think these are dope if you're going back to school, if you're gonna rock it back in college. The only thing is they're white, so they might just get a little bit dirty when you're walking, so make sure you got that sneaker cleaner, maybe some sneaker wipes in your backpack. I would tell you what sneaker cleaner to use, but <laughs> they're all playing games with your boy. That's right. They answered my emails, I emailed them back. They're playing games. Some sneaker cleaner, get at your boy. Get at me, quick. Moving on with the Gucci, let's go ahead and take a look at something that we haven't checked out yet. So we've already done the backpacks, we've already done the shoes. Let's check out what they got in the t-shirts, man. Because t-shirts, oh dude. I don't know how to feel about this tank top. Like first of all, if you're going back to school, you can't wear tank tops in school, but I like, I like the design. I like the gold. I like the Gucci. I don't know how I feel about the straps. I feel like the straps might just be a little bit too small. It looks like a chick shirt. I'm not going to lie. It looks like a, it looks like a female shirt. And this guy right here, let's be honest, he does not look good in it because obviously he's not worried about the gains. Obviously, if they were to get me in there, you know what I'm saying? Probably not though because... I'm short and I would not make a good Gucci model, but if they were to get a guy with real gains, it might look dope on him. But look, I'm not body shaming or anything, but I just feel like it would look better if, if, if his, you know, he, was, he went to the gym. So guys, go to the gym, look better, feel better. That's all I'm trying to preach here. I'm just trying to preach to go to the gym and feel better about yourself so that way you can look better in clothing. A year ago, I was not able to fit in a shirt like this. I looked fat when I would wear dressy clothes and everybody would make fun of me. A year later, I've lost 25 pounds plus. I'm feeling better than ever. And I'm on my way to a quinceanera feeling good. So get in the gym, guys, because I promise you, you will not regret it. Moving on, we got some other Gucci shirts in here. Uh, now, the shirts are, I, I like the shirts because they have the design on them, but um, they're not the same like super thinny spaghetti straps. Now, if that is your cup of tea, then by all means, you go, girl, and you you rock it. But let's be honest here. Um, if if I were to buy that, I probably would not buy it. Um, but it, but but it all depends on how it looks, because it looks kind of funky in the picture. But if I were to see it in real life, we'll see. The shirts are six fifty, which is a little more than I'd hope that you guys would wear to school. Because if you if you spill some milk on it, then the shirt's gone. And let's be honest, dad's gonna dad's gonna have a fit. Um, unless he's super rich, you probably won't care. That one is probably you're gonna be your best bet for if you're going to school because uh, if you're gonna pay 484, for it, you're gonna wear to wear it almost every day. And if it's a black and white, you could wear it with any pair of sneakers and you could wear it with any pair of pants. So um, don't wash the shirt. Wear it all week if you're paying 650 for it. Honestly, though, I can honestly say uh, a lot of these shirts I think are really dope. Like I think this one is really dope. I don't know why. Something about the Jaguar just speaks to me, and it is very majestic. 
$790, okay? Yep, okay, now that down, we're coming down to like a real colorful era. This is more artistic, so I think this is not as like streetwear, uh, but it is kind of crazy. So I don't really think we're gonna worry about the pants too much. Uh, I wanted to go through everything, but I think basically the essentials at least, I think at least the, the shoes, the backpacks, and the shirts are what I mainly wanted to worry about today. Now the, the pants are kind of, the pants are kind of funky, and I think you're gonna pay a lot for them. So if you really are able to buy Gucci, I would recommend not buying the pants at Gucci because if you're realistically buying a Gucci shirt and Gucci shoes, people are gonna tell that you're buying Gucci shirt and Gucci shoes, but the pants, they're just gonna be regular pants. So why not go to a cheaper place and get pants? Like if you really wanna spend money like that, get pants for a hundred, don't drop $800 for some Gucci pants because they're probably going to be the same thing. Like, I am rocking these PacSun pants today that I got for like 60 bucks, and they're looking fly, my dudes, I'm not gonna lie. So, one of the things I like to do on this channel is I do like to teach you guys how to dress for cheaper, but I also wanted to change it up a little bit and show you guys what it would really be like if you actually went to Gucci and went to go back, back to school stuff. So, those are kind of the things that you would find on there. And guys, honestly, I used to believe in having a big collection, having a big closet, but now my thinking has kind of changed to where, why are you gonna have a big closet if you're not gonna wear a lot of stuff? So, if I were you guys, what I would do is if you really, really want a Gucci shirt, and this is my honest advice to you guys, save your money and buy maybe, buy four to seven shirts for the school year, that way you have a, a shirt for every week instead of buying 50 shirts for the school year because then you would actually have shirts that you would look good in, you would feel good, and you wouldn't just like have a bunch of shirts. So I personally believe in quantity rather than quality when it comes to clothing now, but then you also wanna have stuff that you just wanna throw on whenever. So I mean, Plato's Closet is always a good place for that. But anyways, this video was about designer. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought of the Gucci. Let me know down below what was your favorite Gucci piece. Personally, I rarely shop at Gucci unless I'm in Las Vegas. But uh, if you guys really, really, really want to see a Gucci haul, let me know down in the comments down below. And I will be sure to bring you guys a Gucci haul. And I will spend my life savings. But it's all good because it's for you guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already part of the Legit Nation. Guys, we're going to Florida tonight. That's right. We're driving to Florida. So be prepared to see all the Nike outlet content, all of the Ross content. And if there's any other stores you guys want me to go to, make sure you can comment down below or leave me a message on my Instagram at the legit Tim. I will see y'all guys in the next one. Peace homies. Stay blessed. We're out of here. What's up guys? Thank you so much for watching that episode. If you did enjoy it, make sure you smack up that thumbs up button. And if you're not already part of the legit nation, hit that subscribe button. Turn my post notifications on. I'm a 20 year old kid living in San Antonio, making my dreams become a reality. Join the journey and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one.